Hey everyone, this is Echo from Furry Clay. Today we're going to make this little black heart with a nice bloody vampire bite taking out of it. So let's go ahead and get started. To start off, you need to get some Sculpey black clay and just take a little bit and roll it into a ball. Then after you do that, you're going to just pat it down, get it to where it's about a fourth of an inch thick, maybe a little bigger. You can use a pasta machine or a rolling pin, whatever is easiest for you. I just use my fingers and a rolling pin. It worked for me. Next thing you want to do is get your heart-shaped clay cookie cutters out and choose which one you like best. I'm going to use the bigger one just because I think it's cool. You don't have to use a heart and you don't have to use a cookie cutter. You can even cut out your own custom design if you want with an X-Acto knife. After you pop your little clay out of the cookie cutter, you're going to want to soften the edges because they're very hard. So just squish them down on the sides. Since this is a heart, you're going to want to squish the edges down. Where the heart meets in the center, go ahead and pull that down so that you can keep that nice point and just smooth it out. Once you're ready, pick a place where you want the vampire bite to be. Then get your round clay tool and go ahead and put two little bites or just press down twice to give the simulation of two bites taken out. If you don't have a clay tool, you can use something else that you have around your house that is round. If it's a paintbrush end or a pen, something that is round will do just fine. Now you have a perfect bite, right where the fangs of a vampire would bite into this cute little heart. Now I want this to be a necklace, so I've inserted an eye pin here. You can make your own if you don't have any, easily with some needle nose pliers and some jewelry wire. Now we're ready to bake. I went ahead and popped it on some tin foil and put it in my clay oven on 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. But follow the directions on the wrapper of the clay that you have. When the clay is done baking and you hear your oven go ding, just be careful when taking it out of the oven. It is hot and it might even smoke a little. This usually is normal. Just be careful, use your oven mitt, and you will be fine. After you've let your clay cool a bit, it should be really hard and hard to bend. If all is well, you're ready to add the dripping blood. I'm going to be using this puff paint by Scribbles. You can use other puff paint. This just happens to be what I have. Now the fun part. Go ahead and just fill in the indentations that you made earlier and then take the puff paint point and drag a little bit of the paint down to look like a drip. And you don't have to use red. You can use green or yellow, even purple. Give it kind of a toxic look. Now you just want to let it dry. This usually takes a couple hours. So in the meantime, go and have some vampire fun while you wait. Now that it's all dry, we want to make it nice and shiny. I'm using Studio by Sculpey Glossy Glaze. This will give it a nice super sheen shine. All you want to do is put a little bit in the cap and add some with a paintbrush. Try and keep it out of the pinhole, otherwise you won't be able to get a necklace through later. Then let this dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. Once your heart is dry, go ahead and add a jump ring so you can add your necklace through. This will also keep it straight when you wear it. And you're done. You can create many of these with the amount of clay that you use. You don't even have to create simple ones like this. You can get wild and crazy and create a twisted heart with blood that drips from the bites all the way down to the tip. <laughs> well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed making this heart as much as I enjoyed making the tutorial. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'd love to see your creations if you guys decide to make one of your own. Have a good one.